the morgue. How appropriate. Lots here weren't cheap. I'd take a freebie. This looks about as good as any to make a stand. At least the coroner won't have to go far to go to work. Uh, like I said, Paso's always had a good sense of humor. We gotta find a phone. I got a connection in Queens who can help us. Huh. All right. Spread out! And clear every room before you move on. We don't want to miss these damn fools. Our SOS was gonna have to wait. Find that phone. Make a call. Yeah, there's gotta be a landline in that office, man. Okay. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, at least for a little while. Call somebody, get a little help, and we'll get out of here. Hey, hey, it's me. Look, we really need to get out of New Jersey. Yeah, the things are heating up. We got like half the New Jersey mom after us. Uh, and a cemetery in Hoboken. Here I was again, halfway down the world, and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is, I didn't understand the language. Tranquilo, tranquilo, pode ficar tranquilo. Fica nessa parede, seu americano de merda. Que porra tá acontecendo aqui? Que merda tá acontecendo aqui? Haven't you figured out I don't speak your fucking language? Seu gringo de merda, cala a boca, seu gringo! That's right, I may be a moron, but here's the thing. I ain't quite as dumb as I see. It 
was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. And that awful night about the stadium and the docks. I'd been given enough chances to make this right and again I'd blown it. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. Cops didn't seem too concerned with meeting their arrest quotas. Between me and Sao Paulo's finest, it'd be a miracle if the CS were still in business by the end of the day. It was a goddamn war zone. I had to assume Giovanna and Marcella were out there somewhere. Maybe I still had a chance to get somebody in that family through the day in one piece. The place was swarming with cops. They weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough cluster fucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcello and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcello were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. These raids, Rena thugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. It was fair game, as I was about to find out. Five. I'd seen that number before. Were these the same bloodthirsty motherfuckers that showed up after the shootout at the party? The odds of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second. There was a danger of this starting to get too real. 
I was still alive, and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. <laughs> 